Y'all, we fixing to cook some fish. I've got some brim, some crappie fillets. Some of the fish you've seen me catch in the last few days. And uh, I've got a video that I have filmed of Brody opening some packages and I wanted to put it on with something else, not just make a video of it. You've seen me cook fish several times. And before I film, started filming, I should have shown you what I do here. Uh, but this is yellow cornmeal. I just emptied the sack out. I used a great value brand from Walmart. Uh, then I put some camp dog on it. I use Tony Satchery's most of the time, but I like this. Uh, Dwayne had sent it to me back last year, and y'all, I've eaten most of it. Uh, but I put it a layer of it across the top. It's got a lot of cayenne pepper, and then I just put a layer of salt. And whichever brand salt, I don't, I don't worry about brands. I just get salt. So I have got fish right here, and I'm fixing to cover them up because y'all the bugs the june bugs and stuff is getting bad out here this time of year and it's just they're going to be that way so i'll cover that up to kind of keep them out of that I need to lay my cutting board over here i really had to uh, lay that on it to hold them paper tiles down so I got my grease getting hot. We wait for it to get to 275. That's my cooking mark is 275 on that oil. I seen some people here the other day cooking at 350. At 350, you're going to brown the outside. The inside of that fish is not going to be done. I just, you know. And the guy I saw doing it was, you know, I, I thought a pretty good cook. I, but I've been doing this a long time. I'm telling you, 275 is where you want to cook it. They come out perfect. Perfect, might I add. Did I mention they come out perfect? I just wanted to drop that in there for you. So anyway, what we're also going to do is make some hush puppies. I have had several people ask about hush puppies. I've never made hush puppies on this channel. I'm very good at making hush puppies. Did I might add they'll come out perfect? They might not, but we'll act like they are. Oh, um, so we just gonna kind of do some quick cooking on this. Uh, like I said, I still haven't got all my lighting just right out here. So footage out here in the dark is just not good. And y'all, I tried to get a lot of pottery made because I took off and fished all day yesterday and I had to work late to make up for it. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, we out here late again cooking. Y'all, I ain't got enough sense to come in before dark. And this time change puts me 7, 8 o'clock eating every night because I'm going to stay out there working until it's dark. That's when I come in. I don't really look at the clock. I don't wear a watch. Tow the iPhone, but you can't see the clock when it's filming. And I'm always filming. I had some woman scold me yesterday. She said, your channel has done turned into a dear diary. I told her, I said, you ain't got to watch it. And then I thought about it. I said, oh, not tell her that. So I just blocked her then. And I just did that on Facebook. She can still see this. So if she pipes up on here, she'll get blocked here too. <laughs> I ain't going to put that in. I'll film what I want to film him. Yeah. <laughs> You'll either like it or you won't watch it. Because <laughs> I don't care. I don't care for nothing. We're gonna let this get warmed up. Let me get the stuff together, y'all. Seriously, we're gonna make some hush puppies and uh, we're gonna fry up some fine fish. And y'all, I mean, we got a lot of fish. I probably ain't gonna cook all of them because it's just us. I'll eat them for two or three days, but what I did is I pulled off the top a lot of the smaller stuff. We're gonna cook it and uh, may get to do two fish fries. I really may take some of it and, and uh, make some fish tacos later in the week or something like that. Uh, okay, y'all, while we letting this over here get warmed up, I'm fixing to cut, this is actually field garlic, and I'm gonna cut it up in fairly fine pieces, and I know I got it all turned the wrong way. You can't even see, can you? Well, I can't cut as fast with this hand but I have to set the camera up that way so you can see because the lighting is 
Did I mention a light was bad a time or two? I want to say it at least eight times. You don't pay attention to that stuff until you start editing the footage you film and you realize how bad it looks. I know there's some folks that don't care and then there's some people that quit watching over it. So just because it don't bother you, it don't mean there's a thousand other people who are griping about it. Probably. Hey, Dad. What, bud? We'll have to buy some more green onions. Well, we got some growing right out there. Quit kicking them boards around under there. Put that back on that pot lid. Uh, there's gonna be onion on it though, probably. Okay, what we got right here, y'all. So in this bowl, I've got, it's half and half cornmeal, white cornmeal and flour, okay? Half and half. So what I'm gonna do is pull that right there and we're gonna break that onion off in there. Now I'm watching my temperature. It's almost to 275, so I'm having to keep a close eye on that. So I've got some jalapenos that we pickled or, yeah, I think it's jalapenos. Whatever's left in here, I'm fixing to chop all up. And we're going to add that in there to it. That, that's more than enough. I didn't think it was that many in there. So, anyway, so what I'm going to do, this is why I like this knife. I'm making sure y'all can see what I was doing. Okay. Now we got two eggs. Well, I thought I cracked it. Alright, I'm going to start mixing this like that. Brody, you 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 going to have to get out from in front of the camera. Get, get over here. I didn't mean to push you down. Come here. You can help. I just, you had to get out from in front of the camera. We're gonna put a. You stir, Brody. Don't knock your bowl over. <laughs> All right, we're at 275, y'all. I'm finna put my first fish in there. You keep the bugs out of that, Brody. Y'all, I, I just cooked this till they look about right. I don't have a set time. I guesstimated. It ain't but a few minutes. Somebody come in and one day I was cooking and said, 12 minutes, but I didn't say 12 minutes. They just misunderstood me. <laughs> gonna have to have just a little more milk bud all right stir that in there stir it in good let me let me help you get started and then you can do it okay so y'all see that i'm gonna let him stir in it but i'm gonna make sure you see how thick that is I don't want it soupy and runny, okay? And I like a spoon to do this with. Brody, can you go fetch us a spoon? Tell Mama we need a spoon. It's for it. We ain't in no hurry, but... All right, see that consistency? That's what I'm looking for. And while ain't nobody looking... And then I'm gonna stir that in there good. 
they'll wonder why is him spicy because they got jalopy nose in there brody don't eat this anyway hardly I told you I would look at them. I don't really have a time. When they, when those bubbles slow down in there and that fish is floating, it's done for me. And I also look at the color. Um, I don't want them dark brown, but I want a golden looking brown color. Light. Uh, so what the bubbles are is moisture coming out of that fish. That's what's bubbling. So when it slacks off on the bubbling, I know it's just about done. So I'll get you over here and we'll look at it. We're looking at like three, maybe four minutes. I don't know. It might be five. I, I'm not really timing it, so. I don't know. I, it blew my mind. Somebody said 12 minutes. I'm like, I didn't say 12 minutes. I, I don't think. <laughs> you know how sometimes I'll say something. I'll be thinking about this and say that. Like the other day, I was pouring salt on something or pepper on it, and I said salt or vice versa. But y'all can see them bubbles right there, how it's bubbling good. And they not, they starting to float, but not really floating. Y'all wonder why that door is squeaking all the time. That's why, right there. What are you eating? Yogurt. So y'all, we getting close to what I'm looking for right here. And the lighter pieces, these smaller pieces are probably done. But we about there. Y'all, I occasionally check my temperature to make sure it ain't skyrocketing on me. Usually once you start cooking, you're all right. I don't think I'm gonna cook no more fish. Oh. Uh, 
Yeah, we finna cook hush puppies. Cause we got a pile of fish now. We're gonna probably have to call somebody to help us eat these. All right. And we gonna do some fries, y'all. I got some curly fries right here. No, buddy, these things will spray up everywhere. In fact, the best way to do these is to pour them like that. And do them like that. Y'all, I'm afraid he's going to get burned over here while I told him no. That wasn't very many in there. So, y'all, I'm fixing to carry this on in the house. Let that stay warm in there and get me another platter to put my french fries in. Y'all pretty much the same deal with these french fries. But now if they stuck to that basket, they won't float. So see how they up floating when you get them shook loose? They done. All right, let me dump these off. Good, ain't it? We'll have to. I'm gonna have to get free-handed and get them. Oh, I don't grease it. Hard to do this on camera. <laughs> that basket is bigger than my table. All right, let me, let me get turned around over here where I can do this. All right, y'all, with these hush puppies, I'm gonna set this where y'all can see. I'm gonna set it right over there. Um, what they, a couple of ways to do this. Let me start off different. Normally what I do is dip my spoon in there and get some, some grease on it. And then when I get about a spoonful, I stick a whole spoon in there and come off like that. And then every time you do that, your spoon is re-greasing and them hush puppies will come off of it, see? And I have seen people take and rub them off with their finger. And that's probably the most practical way to do it. The only problem is I done got my spoon hot. Alright, got me a rag, get my spoon cleaned off, and we'll try it that way too. Cause that's probably about the best way. But you kind of measuring it with you. Now, if hush puppies is right, they'll roll their sails. And I'm probably making some of these a little too big. But some people like them big as cat head biscuits. Some people like them little bitty. You do that according to the way you like them now. They ain't no right or wrong way. I'm just kind of showing you. See how these hush puppies is rolling their sails? That's when you know that hush puppy is done right. If it don't do that, and I don't know why them sunk. That nair's down there stuck to the, there we go. I had to get it hung to the bottom down there somewhere. All right, I'm gonna have to wait on these, about two or three more, but.
I've just had a bunch of inquiries about hush puppies. And I may have to get something in hand, grab them out, because I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push these on off in there. I got room for them. And then I'm gonna get one more big one over here. And we're gonna do it over here. Come on off. There it went. All right. All right, y'all. That in there is ready to come off. I'm going to just grab them with this because I'm well, sir. Well, these things, y'all, is hard to squeeze in. They sprang loaded, sir. But y'all take note now that about every one of these hush puppies has rolled itself. These have got to come out of here. Now I did bump that one, but now I didn't have to bump it much. Well, sir. Some of them getting a little more brown than I want. Kind of cause of the way I'm going about it, I think. I've noticed in this basket, if they drop down very hard, they stick to the bottom of that bag. What is it, buddy? Yeah, I know. We need to have a rat killing, don't we? You might catch one big as one sunny call. You can show it to mama. Cut this off. Brady said we was gonna have to have a rat killer. Them dogs done got excited. I figured somebody drove up. I think we threw frying stuff, ain't we, Brady? Clean the grease and oil off of these things. They good, but boy, they got a they got some tension to them, son. You do it a workout using them, but they do the job now, I'll tell you that. Hand is a shirt pocket, and I ain't even got a shirt pocket. Lock that back up. Does that look good to you, Brody? Mm -hmm. You said you wanted to eat them onions. What are you doing eating on that apple? I'll tell you what I gotta do. I got a French fry. It got off down in here a while ago. I gotta get it out. It'll be. Nice. It'll. It'll be stunk up my grease there. All right. Well, y'all, that is a little bit of us uh frying up supper. Y'all, I can already see filming out here at night. Gonna be a challenge, all these bugs and these lights. They like it. We're gonna wind up with a screened in front porch or back porch, I can tell you. So, anyway, y'all, I'm gonna take this in. I know y'all wanna see somebody eating some of this stuff, but I don't know if we're gonna film us sitting down to eat or not. We got company showed up. Because uh, I usually call somebody to come eat when we got this much food, because you can't cook just a little bit of anything. So anyway, this is a plate of hush puppies. I'll get you a clip of everything, let you see it. But thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. I'm going to throw some clips now. Brody in here opening some packages he's got. He is a mite proud of. So y'all stay tuned for that.
gonna put her on YouTube anyway. She been working hard today. Get that beauty over there on YouTube. Is this your tea, Debbie? Nana, how's Nana doing? I think so. I ain't drank that one, though. What you got? One of them big five-gallon bucket with a handle? Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Brody has got a smorgasbord of packages came in the mail today, and I got one. I've been off fishing all day. He's been having a fit till I got home where we could film opening these. I don't know who all of it's from. It may be in there. We'll look and see as we open it. Uh, this one is from Mike Gurin. Uh, I knew he had told me he was sending me something, but... Which one are we opening first, Brody? He's wanting to open this big box. All right, well. It doesn't matter, I can whip it open. You can? Yeah. You can do it. Whip it. You better whip it open. Well, I would very much like to see. If it's got a watch back. Right. If it's got a name to to who sent it, so they get credit for it. Oh Lord. Oh, you got a fish. Who's this? Well, who's your thing? Mine. Well, it's got your name on the box, don't it? Who's this? Is from Mr. Ken. Thank you, Mr. Ken. Brody will get some good use out of it, especially after that video that just come out a few minutes ago. You got your all new fishing he pole. He has got a brand new fishing pole. An ugly stick. That's a good pole. You don't like fishing, do you? I do like fishing. You do like fishing? Who's this? I think it's got your name on it. Well, I have laid my... Where'd I lay my knife down? I got another. One. I oh, oh, I laid it over him. Yeah, open that one. Yep. Open this one. Up. Roscoe will share that. And you just gonna carry that pole fishing? What you gonna catch with it? Big old bass. You like bass fishing? Yeah. All right. Oh, look. A gift for you. It don't say. It doesn't say. It don't say on. I can only assume, and I'm not going to do that because I could be wrong, but it is a real. It's a Zebco 33 micro reel. Oh. So they're a lot easier probably for Brody to throw because they have this trigger and the reel will go under it. So we may put this reel on this pole right here. It always, it always has one. Yeah, but this one has got a, this one's different. In other words, see it has a trigger under it so that Brody can just pull the trigger up and throw and let off the trigger there. Who's, we'll see. Who's this is? Well, it is probably, says Brody Peden. Do you know a Brody Peden? Who's Brody Peden? Me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. You're excited, you stay excited. The price paid on the cross with Lyman Emma. So, 
a storybook. Ooh, we'll have to read that tonight. Yeah, time. Mama has been reading him a story along. He's got some papers in here. The boy, they just wadded it in there for you. I can tell you that. Let's see who sent this from Mr. Ken. So I can only assume that all of this is from Mr. Ken. Uh, I know these two are because it said it. I'm assuming the real probably is too, but thank you so much. Brody, we uh, really appreciate it. Tell them thank you, Brody. You tell them thank you for your stuff. Thank you. Uh, mighty nice of them to send you all of this stuff. Thank you for my stuff. We're, we're going to get some fishing in. Brody didn't get to go fishing with me today. We went down to the uh, river down on the Pearl River down close to uh, to Jackson and done some fishing. And Brody didn't get to go. Me and Jimmy Sullivan went. Y'all see that video. We had a good time today. So you tell them whatever you got to tell them, Brody. Send me my fishing packages. <laughs> You got fishing packages. That's about as much. They toys. The Space filler, a.k.a. trash. He's, he's got a sack wadded up. Oh, Mike is, is something else. I'm, I'm just checking these bubble wraps to make sure I don't discard something that I need. Oh, this looks like something him now good as spam. I'm going to just tell you, Mike, I I think we finished off the last jar here not long ago, that beauty berry jelly, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I got to make some of that. Now, that turned out good. I don't know if I can make it as good as Mike did. Let's see what he's got. Some kind of jelly here fits. This is, oh, this is beauty berry jelly. Man, just right, because I had done used mine. Uh -huh. Biscuit. I think there's two more jars here of beauty berry jelly. Y'all might make some of the best. I, it, I know when you're looking at something on camera, you can't really tell much about it. I mean, you just see what it looks like, but I'm telling you, it was good eating. I, I ate two jars of it, I know, uh, before. So I'll show you. I love this bubble wrap. Now, the, the last time me and Michelle tried to make beauty berry jelly, it came out pretty runny. It was good, but it was runny. But now this ain't. He's got he's got his recipe down pat, y'all. So it if, like jelly. Ours like yeah, ours turned out to be cert more than it was jelly. But we, I'll, I'll be eating that on my biscuits. There's no, no doubt. So thank you so much, Mike. And uh, thank, thank you, Mr. You, Ken, Mike. for the stuff. Brody is going to get some use out of this pole. You ready to go fishing? Okay. Ready to catch a grunt? I don't know. I don't know if go alligator or alligator gar. Alligator gar? What about spotted gar? We can catch some. We're going to catch those in the morning. What about brim? Yeah. We'll catch in the morning at the duck pond. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm glad you got these. When are we going to work and make money? About three days. Three days, okay. Maybe 20. 20. 20 days. Yeah. Well, as long as we don't get broke between now and then. I might not be broke, but I'm badly bent. <laughs> Actually, it's going to be for three. Okay. Well, y'all, okay. thank you for watching Spirit of the Outdoors episode of Brody opening up his mail. What's the best way to do things? Lay like to do is pee in your underwear. Don't pee in your underwear. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. You'll be wet and sticky and itching. Yeah, do, do it. <laughs> do it, y'all.